there's a widespread feeling because of the literal rhetoric coming from us, coming from the tech community, that people are going to be obsolete. And especially among young people, there's so much depression. Like, it's just crazy talking to undergraduates now, how many of them feel like life is pointless and their generation is the last one and they're just going to die when the AI takes over. They have no jobs. They have no purpose. Nobody will care about them. That's stupid. Like, as soon as you realize that AI can equally be understood as a collaboration, then they can equally understand that there'll be all these new jobs creating new kinds of data. And what's amazing about that is every time some AI person tells me, oh, but we have all the data we need, we can already train super intelligence, whatever the hell that means, which is nothing, but... It's another statement of faith. But, yeah, it's yeah. A, oh boy, that's like a medieval statement of faith. That's, that's uh, I don't know, the, oh, the golden calf, that's what that is. It's older right. than medieval. But anyway, um, the thing is, the thing is, if you think that people might create valuable data in the future, it means that you also think that there might be forms of creativity we haven't yet foreseen, which means that we don't have all the data we need to train the AIs, which means that we aren't the smartest possible people of all time, which means that there might be room for people in the future to do things that happens to create data that expands what the AI models can do, which suggests this open future of expanding creativity. And I love that vision and it's, the great fallacy of believing that computers can become arbitrarily smart is this idea that relatively people will not change, will not be creative, will not move. What a horrible thing to believe. I sort of feel like that's a sin.